I'm going to show you how to use WP Stagecoach to create a staging copy of a website, make changes on that staging copy, and then import those changes back to your live site. So here's the website I'm going to use as a demonstration. And in that website's dashboard, I'm, I've already uploaded the WP Stagecoach plugin, so now I'm going to activate it. I click on WP Stagecoach, and it redirects me to the WP Stagecoach settings page because I need to enter in my username and API key. Once I've done that, I can click on WP Stagecoach. And now all I have to do to create a staging site is click Ride the Stagecoach. There are some other settings here and on the settings page that are described in more detail on the instructions page on wpstagecoach.com. So now it's going through the process of creating the staging site. And if, you're, if you have a really large website or if you're on a slow web host, this process could take a few minutes. And it's done. So now it's giving me a link to my staging site. It's giving me the SFTP and FTP credentials so I could connect to the site via FTP if I need to make some file changes. There's also a feedback form. We really appreciate knowing if things go smoothly, but this is also a good way for you to report problems if you run into any problems. So let's go look at the staging site. Here it is, and it looks exactly like the live site. So now I'm going to log in. You can use the exact same username and password that you use on your live site to log into your staging site. And I'm going to make some changes now. Let's add a new page. And I think it's time for a different theme. And while I'm at it, let's change what appears on the home page. So I'm going to go take a look at the site and see how it looks. So here's the staging site with those changes made. So now let's go back to the live site and click on Import Changes. Click Check for Changes and it will go look at the staging site and see what we've changed. And now we're on the import page, and there are three different kinds of import. The easiest is one click. Advanced is for when you want to only import some of your changes, not all of them. And manual import is if you run into problems doing the one click import, the manual import is a little more complicated, but totally reliable. So let's click on import. and it's going to the staging site and it's downloading all of the changes that I made on the staging site and applying them to the live site. So now I can go look at the live site which is here and it looks just like the staging site so all of my changes have been imported. So once it's done I can clean up and delete the staging site. I'm done with my changes so I don't need the staging site anymore. And that's how you use WP Stagecoach to create a staging site and import your changes back to your live site.